Tour 709 Slim comes in one of these plain cardboard boxes like a lot of manufacturers have been doing. Uh, sometimes it's kind of disappointing when you get a gun in a cardboard box, but then again, what do you end up doing with the cases they come with anyways? Usually tossing them and using a range bag. So I can't hold that against them. Of course you have your manual. A uh, couple color pictures in here to explain some things. One thing that I found very useful was the instructions on adjusting the sights. Uh, it is nice that they, they include a tool, they show you a picture of where the hits are, and tell you which screw to turn in which direction. Make it pretty darn simple. That's all you get in the box, magazine, the gun, and the chamber flag. Let's take a look at the gun. Now the 7 Slim is like any other single stack 9. Uh, this one has a 7 plus 1 capacity, except it is really, really skinny. Look how thin that is. It's almost too skinny, uh, but a great, not quite pocket gun, but something small to uh, tuck away somewhere. It's double action only. First we'll show clear. Giving you that second strike capability in case you have a, a dud round or potential misfire. Does have an external safety, which is kind of nice. Trigger is pretty much heavy enough to not worry about in the first place, but uh, that safety locks it solid. And of course, the Taurus uh, locking ability uh, up there. You can disable the gun with a little key that comes with it. Another feature I like is this tactile loaded chamber indicator. That little pin pops up when it's around in the chamber. Taking the gun apart does require pulling the trigger, but just like Glock or many other modern uh, polymers, pull back a little bit, pull down on these takedown pins, and it comes loose. One thing you might have noticed, nice feature, that little divot right there works as a wonderful detent rest for your finger. Taking a look at the inside, we have a steel guide rod, greatly appreciated, uh, much improvement over some of the other toruses that I've taken a look at, where it pops out as normal. It does have a chrome finish that uh, has shown some wear. I had a few functioning issues with this gun when I first got it. Uh, I tried to do just a standard out of the box and range time and the packing grease didn't suit well with the gun, had to clean it up. After that didn't have any issues. Uh, you've got regular safety plunger set up like a Glock, the extractor accessible from the outside uh, so you don't have to worry about any pinching going on there. Um, but other than that, fairly simply put together, um, it works alright. Let's take it to the range. That is a hard trigger. I don't know if you can tell by my the marks on my hand. how hard I was having to squeeze that. <laughs> um, I'm not sure safety is required when the trigger is this heavy. Um, also, from the marks on my hand, this super slim profile is just too slim for my hands. Uh, what ends up happening is it's like a knife blade just pushing back into my hand on each shot. My finger does still rest on that detent. I got that in a nice spot. Do enjoy the loaded chamber indicator. Um, the safety is not too far back like it is for me on the bodyguard. I can still hit it with my thumb. Um, but holy moly if that isn't a heavy trigger. It is double action only. I was trying to shoot off of a reset. There is a bit of a clicking reset there. But it's still a heavy trigger.
Okay, so we have the 709, 709er Slim. It is actually really slim in the hand. It's uh, super nice. You can see very uh, low profile there. You have a nice and easily accessible slide release and your safety. Little, little chamber indicator right there. Um, overall, the feel in the hand is great. Love it. Super slim. You can carry it. Uh, really easy to conceal. That said, the trigger is pretty terrible. It's just pull, brick wall, and then go. But it's not a nice crisp feeling. It's a like push hard and then it finally breaks. Um, that said, overall not a bad gun. Good texture on the grip. Um, it's got a little bit of this, but a little rest for your finger as well as here. Everything ergonomically, really nice. So to wrap this gun up, incredibly affordable. Uh, under $300 in most places. Very small, very slim. Ergonomics, not my favorite. Uh, but for a single stack 9 that you can just toss in a bag or a glove box or have as a backup gun somewhere, uh, maybe not the worst idea. As a gun for new shooters, I always try to deter uh, new shooters from going for the subcompacts uh, just because they are more difficult to shoot. Uh, recoil tends to be bigger. The slide spring has to be stronger, which makes it a little more difficult to rack the slide. Uh, for those still learning the methods. And of course the short sight radius makes it more sensitive to any tilting of the hand uh, which makes you feel like you can't shoot as well until you really learn how to be stable. Um, other than that, not a bad gun. I think bang for the buck, it's worth it. <laughs>